Hello and welcome to Paris Set Me Free <clears throat> mini photo tutorial. <laughs> I've remembered. And uh, today we're looking at something that I took on a photo trip with um, an American client of mine. And uh, we were in a butokai, which is uh, it's one of those second or third level tourist destinations. It's the sort of place when you've lived here for about five years, people say to you, you mean you haven't been to Butokai yet? Uh, tourists certainly wouldn't go there on their first visit. Even Parisians and even people who are expats who are living here don't necessarily go there um, straight away. It's, uh, it's a little sort of villagey place. But means a hill, so it's on a hill. And <coughs> as I've said in another uh, photo tutorial. It's a place where the Parisian graffiti artist uh, Mystic uh, has a lot of stuff. Well, here's another one, and uh, this guy also, uh, who I'll try to remember his name, um, although <laughs> I can't right now, um, uh, does a lot of stuff. This is right next to the swimming pool, which is up on top of the uh, the hill very famous swimming pool it's uh, it's in red brick which is unusual for paris and there's a well which they had to drill down can you imagine how far they had to dig to get to the uh, to the uh, the water level the water table well it's something like 500 or 600 meters they had to go down before they could they could get that so um there may be another photo uh, coming up later of of uh, some of that water coming out of the fountain. Um, in the meantime, this is if you're standing by the fountain and you look over to one side, you see this. I'm showing you six pictures because I want you to decide which one you like best. Just have a look at those and uh, decide which one you like best. <coughs> While I eat some of my pizza, which is rapidly going cold. Well, I'm going to show you which one I chose, and here it is. Right, so if you compare that with um, with uh, the ones I showed you before, uh, you'll see that it's probably uh, one of these. I decided not to go for this one because it's very busy. There's a lot happening. You've got this line here. There's this line going shooting off, which is, if you actually go back, it's it's a very, very interesting picture. But again, simplicity is the rule, and you'll see why I chose to choose one of these simpler pictures uh, in a minute. He's got a bag here, which which again is great, you know. But uh, from a photographic point of view, well, I compared this one to these others, and I decided to simplify for a very clear reason. Uh, this one here is uh, is a bit too messy. Um, it's not very well structured and there's, it's difficult to get a theme. Even though you could crop it, that's true, but um, I didn't do that. This one here is... Um, it's okay. Uh, there's a strong angle in there, which I threw in. There's this bit here coming in on the side, which balances it out a little bit, uh, balanced by the, the um, umbrella up in the top right, which is okay, so that could be a good photograph. I decided to go for these, the bottom line. Have a look again at uh, the photo I chose. And what did I do? Well, I focused on a very simple element of this photograph, and that is the flower in his mouth. He's got a little flower, which is actually just composed of maybe three or four green leaves and five bright red petals. And those petals uh, are echoed, if you like, by the red of the umbrella. And what I decided to do was echo those petals up in the top left, as opposed to the bottom right, by these um, bows attached to the kite string. So if we go back to the original, you'll see that uh, maybe uh, it wasn't necessary. Let me uh, just uh, zoom in on those. You can see here that uh, in those photos sometimes I, I hadn't chopped off the, uh, the the kite in exactly the right way 
I didn't want in but in my in my final analysis I didn't want anything which got in the way so basically I chopped it here without without a little trace of another of these red ones it's, it's very important purity you've got the the black line coming in here you've also got the black line coming in here which you might imagine is going to the kite which in fact it is but you've got the black line going out no hint of the kite you've also got this black line coming in if I'd left it a little bit more you would have had another one of these red things just coming into the picture but chopped so that's no good so here it's the red of the flower contrasted to the this sort of abstract red of these things coming in on the top left which balance this out and also if you divide this photograph in half all the everything uh, that is really happening with the umbrella and the guy is in the bottom half top half absolutely empty except for these three little bows on the unseen kite string so it's great that these bows are much larger if you take each of those chunks of red each of them are much much larger than these little chunks of red on the flower but they balance but that's exactly why they balance each other because in top half nothing is happening except these big chunks of red bottom half lots is happening and you've got these tiny chunks of red so it's a nice photograph I've done my thing with the the colors and contrast and stuff to make it uh, hit you in the face and it's part of this part of Paris in the 13th district Butokai if you want to see a good uh, quality picture uh, of this, then go to the blog, blogspot, uh, parissetmefree.blogspot.com. Um, and when you're shooting graffiti, think about what you're shooting and don't just take a picture of the artist's work because that isn't original photography. You have to do something. You have to add something. Here, I've tried to um, within the, the confines of my art, my um, frame here, which the camera allows me, I've tried to uh, do something which you wouldn't see if you were just looking at the work of art itself. So that's, uh, that's it for today. Thank you very much for visiting. And, uh Depuis que je suis à Paris, le jour et la nuit, je suis gris. J'ai compris la douceur de vivre, je suis fou de joie, je suis ivre, depuis que je suis à Paris.